Question 6. A geometric series has first term 5 and common ratio 4 fifths. So we can write down that A, the first term, is 5 and R, the common ratio, is 4 fifths or 0.8. Calculate the 20th term of the series to three decimal places. Well, first of all, we need to recognize that the nth term of the series is a r to the power n minus 1. So the 20th term will be 5 multiplied by r to the power 19, which is 5 multiplied by 0.8 to the power 19. Let's get the calculator. 0.8 raised to the power 19 equals multiplied by 5 and it's 0.0721 to 4 decimal places, 0.072 to 3 decimal places. Second part of the question, find the sum to infinity of the series. Here we need the formula for the sum to infinity of a geometric series, and that's a divided by 1 minus r. So that's 5 divided by 1 minus 4 fifths, which is 5 divided by 1 minus 4 fifths is a fifth, and to divide by a fifth, we simply multiply by 5 over 1. So the answer is 25. Given that the sum to k terms of the series is greater than 24.95, show that k is greater than log of 0.002 divided by the log of 0.8. Our starting point here is the sum to n terms of the geometric series. The sum to n terms is given by a multiplied by 1 minus r to the n divided by 1 minus r. Well, in this case, we're looking at sk, the sum of k terms. And it will be a, which is 5, multiplied by 1 minus r to the k, so that's 1 minus 0.8 to the power k divided by 1 minus r is 1 minus 0.8. So sk is equal to, now 1 minus 0.8 is 0.2, a fifth, and 5 divided by a fifth is 25. So we've got 25 multiplied by 1 minus 0.8 to the power k. And we're told that that has to be bigger than 24.95. So what I'm going to do now is divide this inequality through by the 25. So on the left-hand side, I'll just have 1 minus 0.8 to the power k. So let's have a calculator and see what we get for 24.95 divided by 25. It's 0.998, so that's greater than 0.998. Now we rearrange this. Let's bring the 0.8k to the right-hand side, where it will become positive, and we'll take the 0.998 to the left-hand side, where it will become negative. So 1 minus 0.998 is greater than plus 0.8 to the k. So that gives 0.002 is greater than 0.8 to the k. So now we have an exponential inequality and we'll use logs to solve it. Take logs of both sides, the log of the left hand side is greater than the log of the right-hand side. 
Now we can use our rules of logs. Log of A to the power B is B log A. So the K can be brought to the front. So we get the log of 0 0.002 is greater than K log 0 0.8. It doesn't matter what base we're talking about for the logs, as long as we're using the same base for both sides. And when we use our calculator to work this out, we'll be using logs to the base 10. So now, to get k on its own, I need to divide through in this inequality by the log of 0 0.8. But it's important to remember that log 1 is 0 in any base. So the log of a number less than 1 between 0 and 1 is negative. And if I divide an inequality through by a negative number, it reverses the direction of the inequality. So the left-hand side will become less than the right-hand side. So log of 0.002 divided by the log of 0.8 will be less than k. And that's in effect what we were asked to show. But we write it in the form that they've got it here, bringing the k to the other side. Remember, k is greater than this, means the same as this is less than k. So k is greater than the log of 0 0.002 divided by the log of 0 0.8. On to the final part. Find the smallest value of k. Well, we just need to put this in our calculator. And we'll get that k is greater than, and I want the log of 0.002, so it's 0.002, the log of that, divided by the log of 0 0.8. 0 0.8, the log of that, equals 27.85. So k is greater than 27.85. But k is an integer because k is the number of terms. And we want the smallest value of k. So the minimum k would be 28. And that completes question 7.